Hey, what's up guys? I wanted to make another video today. I wasn't planning to, um, but I see that I got a couple of questions across some of the videos over the last month or so. Um, usually I'm not in this YouTube channel. I'm in the agency channel and you know, however I browse through YouTube, I'm doing it there so I don't see some comments. But um, Timothy asked, given the circumstances with whole COVID-19 situation, can a person still make six figures with a digital marketing agency? Okay. And then uh, another question, how do you know which companies to market to during COVID? And this, this is one question I've been getting, um, you know, the, even the last uh, two weeks, again, I got like a few questions from a couple of people um, that, that used to watch me on YouTube and whatnot. The same thing, can we still sell during COVID? Um, what's an easier way to sell, et cetera, et cetera. So, and every time I got this question, like if you messaged me on Facebook, I told you yes. And I gave you like a you know, simple example, like, you know, how everything's fine. And I think um, um, some people might be having trouble uh, um, seeing it come from me as, as I have recently, like, you know, decided not to um, grow the agency uh, aggressively and, and all that kind of stuff. So the first thing I want to say is like, trust me, guys, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not not growing because of just COVID. Like I have some serious things to get to that I've been putting out for a long time, primarily being my health. Having that said, let's get into the question. So can you still sell during COVID? Short answer is yes. The thing that I think people are really trying to ask is how do you go about selling a little like you know differently if you are being able to sell in COVID is it is it anything you know special you're doing and the answer to that can also be not really anything different but I will give a better example and and I will answer it a bit more thorough in this video so so that um if I get this question again on Facebook maybe I can just point people towards this and that's gonna be like this what did COVID do Let's just start here, just basically, what did, what, what did COVID do, right? Industries, certain industries are, get, are booming and certain industries got kind of hampered and then some got completely um, um, like, like, like damaged uh, heavily. So if you're an, if you're an agency and you, your, your main, your niche, let's say, was restaurants, then, then obviously you, you got hit really hard and it would be very wise for you to shift. So that's the first thing. It, it's, it's literally as simple as that. Guys, look at the stock market. Who's it going up? Is there any kind of common denominator you see across the board for companies that are really booming in this time? I mean, I would say online, isn't it? It's pretty obvious. <laughs> now, um, it might be a bit more obvious to me now that I've been just doing so much um, looking into stocks and everything like that. And uh, I'm, I'm, you know, going through all these, um, watching all these videos on analyzing company growth and whatnot. I really like the type of benefits some of these companies are getting during this time when, um, you know, they're completely a cloud-based software or like a digital, uh, fully digital, you know, service. But the point is this. That's what it is. It's a movement towards online. Right in in a, in, a, in, a, in a nutshell, so you think that okay, if I was to just shift to the industries that are getting a boost, and I have an angle where I help them better online, that's a pretty good standpoint to start off with. Very basic, an example of which industries are moving: home services, like. I felt this before the, um, the, it started coming out on the, on the, uh, whatever reports and stuff. Who did I hear this? I think I heard this from, um, I think it was Joe Rogan, whatever. The stat was something like, um, um, construction, right? Residential construction, commercial construction as a whole got a huge boost since March. And I felt that starting like April, just from talking to clients and, um, you know, being in the industry that, that, um, you know, working with roofers and contractors. 
So it was really interesting when I got that um, confirmation from a statistical standpoint, and it really won like, oh, okay, all right, like so 100%, everything is that. So if you're somebody who where the niche was, you're targeting is something like one of the niches that got completely dismantled, just shift. Shift to um, an industry that that is getting somewhat of a boost. Go to has been home home improvement. That that was like I seen home improvement as the go to like actually even before all this. Like I just it's just a good industry overall, right? People who make a lot of money, contractors, and generally have a tendency to not be so much into tech and and and, and that tech savvy. It's a really good margin to create a business around. So having that said, let's talk about a few niches, right? Like restoration is one that's good. Um, roofers, contractors, electricians, tree service, plumbers, HVAC. Th these are these are all-time niches, right? Like that's why they're so common when people go after it. Um, um, I have a, if you're in an industry or if you have been targeting um, clients who have a way out, uh, or like they're being able to shift in a way that's becoming more online, it's a great opportunity. Like dentists, if you're already kind of like going for dentists, um, um, or you know about dentists or something like that. Now I heard, um, what was it? Telemedicine or whatever. I'm like, I don't know this. Like I'm just giving you guys on the top of my head. Just think in the broad way, the thoughts I'm talking about, not just like individual stuff, but like, again, an industry that's already good for SEO, dentist, and now they're having to shift to this new way. Well, if you create that product real quick on, on in, in, like in terms of how they can make that shift and make it very seamless, get one or two customers, get some good testimonials, reviews, you right there, then and there, within like 30 days, you can have a whole powerful angle that you can use to further prospect with much better traction. Um, around me, I'm, man, it's getting annoying. Landscaping is happening every single day. Like literally multiple times a week. It's so loud in the houses around here. So I know that landscaping is, 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 is completely up and running at full force. Seems like, um, um, I mean, more than before. Funeral service is a good one. I was thinking about that. Uh, normally it's not one I really think about, but I was thinking because like a lot of people are dying generally before it was you know it was a pretty decent niche for um COVID. and then you know there's more deaths happening now and more fear around deaths and stuff and you know there's going to be some benefit on the on the on the funeral service side now the way i'm using the words it probably sounds very rude like a lot of people are just, so just um um yeah so anyways, you know, what I, like basically what I'm pointing out is I'm just talking about overall industries that are booming, that is accessible. So that's the first layer. And, and, and really, I could stop the video here. Guys, go for industry. Stop going for people who are having trouble and go for industries that are booming. But let's go a little bit deeper. Okay, so let's say like now you shifted. You say, okay, right, these are, these are the people I'm going to target. The next thing that has to be, you could say, if you want to, if I had to say well, what is different right now, what would be great if you wanted to um, do things a little bit different and better is work on your angles. What is your sales angle? Why don't you make your angle really about what it, what is really happening, right? Now is a great opportunity to go online and create a brand and presence and assets digitally for whatever business you're, 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 you're targeting. That alone could be an industry, like, like, like a angle in of itself, right? It's a good starting point. What I realized is that um, your energy in this matters a lot, like way more than I would be able to demonstrate by just honestly making a video. The example I can give is this. When, when like March, March, beginning of April, I was freaking out. I mean, I was losing clients like, like flies. And I was like, holy shit, this is, this keeps going at this rate. I'm going to be literally like losing two thirds or more of the agency. So 
by April, by the end of April, more so, um, yeah, by April, May, I started to kind of like really understand how to deal with it because my energy was also that, oh my God, yeah, things are going down. I don't know what to do. So when clients would call like, hey, what's going on? You know, we see like there's some, like, you know, these problems are happening. We're trying to hold on and stuff. And I would go with it. I'd be like, yeah, you know, like, you know, we're also trying to support our clients. And I, I was like trying to be supportive, but at the same time, I was like, falling into that further into that idea that oh yeah it's it's end it's the end we're gonna you know like like roofers can't work anymore oh my god like you know if we have to pause the service it's okay for a couple of months like i'm being i was being all like afraid until a couple of our clients started to show me that no oh, we're actually crushing it and one of my clients in, in particular man like he's such a boss and I saw a couple of our clients, um, um, you know, do things like this. And it really showed me like, um, like I just got more respect for s s several of our clients who, who like kind of showed like, you know, why, why they are the owners, right? One of, one of these clients, they, you know, they have a pretty good business. They're doing about 3 million a year in the roofing space. And, um, you know, they don't like, like he doesn't go in the field anymore. He's not like a person who sells every day. He's more like the, you know, CEO and stuff. But as this kind of broke down, this guy stepped right in and he, he started going into homes and started to sell like these big deals. He was getting, selling $50,000 roofs, like literally every week, one or two of them. And he was telling me like, like, look, you know, you, you lay the foundation when things like this happen, you got to just get in the trenches. And he himself stepping in, like normally they sell roofs for like 12,000, 15,000, something like that. But him getting in, since he has so much experience, he's like, you know, he's the owner. Um, he can go into a house and he was like writing off, hey, why they need to do the window down to the AC unit. Stuff that they normally don't even offer. But he was going down and writing it all up, making the insurance process for the homeowner really easy. So they don't have to come out of pocket. Having the ways he knows the ins and outs, how to make, like create the documents so the insurance gets it approved. And then he was outsourcing other parts that he doesn't do. Basically, he was coming out like his, his average job that he was getting. Uh, um, was like fifty, sixty thousand dollar home improvement deals. He was walking in and get, getting out with these kind of uh, checks, like multiple times a week for like almost four to six weeks in a row. Now this was himself, and I think he said like his main project manager that this guy he this you know his main sales rep you could say or project manager that has been with him for a couple of years. The point I'm sharing with this is that in the in the space, I realized that there was a huge difference between certain clients who were absolutely crushing it and other ones that are not. And instead of me being all afraid and like falling with that energy, then I started to take that energy and just divert it to any clients who were freaked out. Literally, from then on, once I started to, you know, he, he started to share how things are going with him. And the next time uh, another client, you know, called like, yeah, I don't know, we might have to pause the service and all that. Um, I just went like, Really? Um, that's not surprising because another client of ours is actually crushing it. And then they were freaking out like, yeah, but you know, normally we have our door knockers and now they can't door knock because blah, 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 blah. I'm like, oh yeah, they used to door knock too. But instead of, you know, actually knocking on the door, they're leaving these kind of messages and they're actually putting a tag on it and, and, and you know, telling the person that they can pick up the folder. It's, it's COVID free and making a whole little funny thing. Here, let me send you a sample from another client of mine. And I started to do that. And guess what? That was it. For some of those clients that complained um, in like May, I, get, I helped them out with, you know, just getting some information for other clients who were crushing it. And then that was it. Um, I, I, I didn't hear from them again. They didn't complain anymore. So going back, just an example to show how much the energy matters, right? If you're freaked out, if you're like, oh, will it work or not? Then that's what they will think too. And you will you will convince yourself that is being true because the people you talk to, you'll be in like like each call you make you'll be in the um um in the seat like looking for that confirmation because you believe it and then you find the people because there's people who are scared and then they will uh, align with you and you're like boom i knew it i knew it you can't do shit you can't sell during this time because it's gonna align whereas if you understand like okay right i see this is happening i see you know like i understand certain percentage of business businesses are booming within a given industry why they are and you take that and you can start doing sales and using that as an angle hope that makes sense it's kind of going in a loop but that's an important point 
right? To summarize that whole thing, basically, is when you're doing, when you're doing sales, when you're doing prospecting, it's a numbers game, right? If you're talking to 100 people, there's going to be a percentage that's scared and their business is, is going down. And I'm talking within a certain industry. Like, let's say you're talking to plumbers. There's a percentage that's scared and is, 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 is hurting from COVID. There's a percentage that's kind of like not sure you know they're kind of going and they're kind of hanging in there they're doing okay not that bad but they're kind of unsure like how are things are going and there's ones that are like grabbing by the horns and crushing it right whatever your mindset is you're going to attract that a b or c part because your belief aligns with that person you're talking to so understand that because it's 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 important having that said here's to give some Examples, just so it can really make it simple for you guys. What is a type of list or type of businesses? Um, um, I mean, I gave you industries, but let's say the type of angles, right? An angle, in my definition, um, what you, like, like a sales angle is basically a way where you're able to Early on in the conversation, right? Soon after you start, like, like get in contact with the prospect, you can clearly demonstrate to them that you have industry knowledge or some kind of knowledge that can help them that aligns with what they already kind of know or that aligns at least with things they are, um, are know to be true, but don't really, you know, like, like have put much thought to it and you bring it to the forefront. So it aligns with what they know and you give them one or two of those and now they're interested. You know, this guy kind of knows what he's talking about. And then boom, you go to the third part and then they take you for that. They trust you for that. Right. So let me give you an example. Um, uh, okay. A really good one. I have like a, um, I have this like sales rep who I talk to from time to time and, uh, he's, he works in Yelp and this guy gave me a, 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 a in, April, I think April or May, like a couple, one or two months ago, he sent me a list, like as a favor of like a bunch of businesses that just left Yelp. He showed me like, Hey, they, they, these, these guys just quit. They have been with us for a while and this is how much they were paying, um, uh, to, 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 to Yelp. And he showed, you know, these are people who are paying like 500 to $700 per month on, on ads or whatever. And they were spending and now they just quit. And that thing aligned with me. In terms of that, I realized that you know a lot of the people right now, like a lot of the clients that agencies would lose are people who have been stagnant. Meaning the agencies have been kind of doing something okay, but not really doing something that's very clear the value they're uh, are providing. Every agency has these kind of clientels, you know. Nor a lot of times they stay for a long time. Sometimes they don't, but whatever it may be, the this kind of particular client base happened to leave. So. Just think about it. If I was to contact that list, right? And how easy would it be to convince them to hear me out? Well, let's not say easy. Let's say how inviting could I make a conversation for them to hear me out? On the top of my head, something like as easy as, hey, look, um, you know, let's say like, oh yeah, I tried this before. It doesn't work and stuff like that. Um, look, yeah, you know, we realized that, you know, during COVID especially, it was like a huge, um, um, uh, you know, awakening that happened across the marketing agencies where the, really the bigger companies, um, um, Haibu, Web.com and stuff like that, and companies like that, you know, I'm alluding, I know they're in Yelp, so I'm alluding to big companies, right? You have these big companies that kind of just have these cookie cutter systems that they don't really give that person attention. Those campaigns really, you know, didn't work um, um, and are not going to suffice anymore because it's going to be a new way. Now I'm starting to hit like hit it in their head that okay I'm also a, I just go to the big company and it wasn't really working for me. This guy might be up to something. That's established an angle. Now I can go into and you know talk a little bit more, build rapport or whatever, invite them like hey look you know what really has come down to is that um, is finding out first of all exactly how many homeowners are searching for your service in the area. So you know throw some numbers from the keyword planner. Um, and, and also, you know, John finding out what are some of the competitors, um, who are getting this visibility, how many leads they're generating from it. In fact, I can, I can do this research right now. It's going to take me a couple hours. Are you free by any chance uh, later on this evening? So I can, um, you know, we can go over some of this data together. 
that's you, you see what I'm following uh, I mean are you following what I'm saying that's just a simple conversation I just laid out um, um, that can be pretty inviting right now you guys watching might be like oh I don't have a skills rep who's gonna give me a list of from people in Yelp so let me just <laughs> I'll give you another example right that's that's accessible to obviously anybody um, let's say you're doing uh, calling home advisor hey they're saying like, yeah, you know, like yeah, things are right now really tough and whatever, like that. John, look, you know, I understand, you know, this is a pretty crazy time going on, but what I, what, what, what I can show you is some of the, some other plumbers that, that we're working with, if you're not working with them, some other plumbers that's actually not performing you, we're actually crushing it right now specifically. And the reason that is, is because it's a better time to grow your own brand and build your own branding online. Why would I take that angle? Because that's what Home Advisor does. <laughs> Home Advisor is gives contractors shitty leads, and I know from talking to a lot of contractors that no matter how many leads they're getting from Home Advisor, they always have that yearning that one day I'm gonna grow that brand that people actually come to directly. This is always in their mind, somewhere in their in their in their week, day, month they think about this, and I know it. Right? They see those companies that have nice vehicles that are wrapped. They have like, the, the, their crew members wear the company t-shirt, professional, they have a name for themselves. And these guys are always chasing these bad leads from Home Advisor. I would use that knowledge, go into an angle, and I would, I would further push that idea that they have, that I know that they have, and then show how now, during COVID, where everything is moving online, is a perfect time for you to get Take advantage and, and, and grow your brand um, um, it, and, and show them the opportunity. In a way, it's, it's perfectly true. See what I mean? So that's like, you know, contractors. If you're not targeting contractors, you're going to dentists or whatever, like even like AdWords. Hey, did, did you know that Google is actually like $300 million has been given for credits for local businesses? Like what? If they're already running ads, they, they might have actually already gotten it if, if they were running ads already and they might not just know it because their uh, marketing company might not tell them or, or whatever. The point is, it's an angle. You can go in with that. Using market data, that's also very powerful, right? Market data right now is chaos COVID. Um, another one, within if they're running ads, Google, big market data. You can snapshot that picture, send it to them. You can show them to get into an angle. Any, any, anyways. Let me stop giving specific examples because it's going to ruin the point that I'm trying to make here. The point I'm trying to make is very simple, is that you can align your messaging, the approach you're going to be taking to contact prospects and really make it so that it looks like an opportunity you're providing right now because of COVID, right? Make it the thing. Don't just go around it like, oh yeah, it can still work because of, no, COVID is the reason you're going to, it's going to work. And they will, they will, they, they, they will, um, and it will get them interested. So, I think that's pretty much it, right guys? Like, if you're sitting, if you're watching this video right now, and based on everything I said, nothing has hit you in terms of like like you know you're you're just there sitting there like hmm it doesn't i don't know if this applies to me or it's not really like clicking anything then it's probably that you're a beginner it's probably that you have not taken a lot of action ever because no matter what medium you use to prospect whether it be the phone the email there's always a a little art to it of getting a pulse of the market. Like the phone is not just a, a, like a like a tool to get the client. A lot of times I use the phone just to get a pulse. If I make a hundred dials, I know ratios. I can check back and see like, yeah, before in the same list, if I was to call this many times, this is how many conversations I had or this is how many people get interested. Right now, it's getting lower or more. If I try this angle, it's getting lower and more, right? I'm pretty sure it's like that for any other medium of client acquisition. If you're using cold email, um, 
I'm sure that it's not just, again, for getting the client, but a lot of times you could send a batch of emails to test. Um, does this headline work? Does this offer get people interested to come on a call? You know, whatever it may be. And with, with that understanding, based on the examples I gave, if nothing is clicking to you at all, you're, you, 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 you probably haven't done much action at all. And guess what? That just means that it doesn't matter. If COVID was to be gone tomorrow, they say, hey, everything's gone, guys. We've got the vaccine. Everything, restaurants are open now. Would you be getting flooded with clients? No, because you'll be left sitting here in your room in front of your screen and you'd still have to go through the fundamentals. Your discipline, learning sales, learning how to face rejection and just committing and taking action, aka fixing yourself. So don't wait until this whole phenomenon is gone. Go do it right now. Peace.